we can unpack a 3D cube, like a cardboard box, to flatten it out into a two-dimensional object that looks a bit like a cross. Using this technique, the 2D being can again try to understand a higher dimensional object from its components, which are 2D, all unfolded in a 2D space. The two-dimensional being would see this unfolded box look like a set of squares connected together. But how would the being refold this shape back up into a cube? From the perspective of the 2D being, it can only fold left or right within its space, but there doesn't seem to be a way to fold the boxes that way. Their length and width prevents that from happening. Yet, as three-dimensional beings ourselves, we see where that fold happens. It's along the lines within the cross that can be folded up into the third dimension. So how would a 4D hypercube look to us unfolded in three-dimensional space? It turns out it would look like this, a tesseract. Much like the 2D example, the components of this cross-like structure are made up of native shapes found here in 3D those being the 3D cubic components of the cross. So all we have to do now is fold this back up into the fourth dimension. But if you look closely, the parts that would have to fold up look like flat square areas between the contact points of the boxes. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely struggling to see how those will fold. I'll leave that one with you to meditate over. Let's try another technique to visualize higher dimensional objects. Going back to our 2D space example, we can now try casting a shadow on the two-dimensional space by holding a light up against a transparent or wireframe cube. The shadow will look something like a square contained within and connected to an outer square. So what happens when we take a 4D hypercube and shine a light through it into 3D space? Well, it looks like a cube contained and connected within another cube. So again, you're welcome to try to visualize how that might relate back to a 4D hypercube. 